Kigoma is found on the northeastern shores of Lake Tanganyika, a central great lake that is the second oldest freshwater lake in the world. The Kigoma Joint Program, or the KJP, is an area-based UN joint program that cuts across multiple sectors to improve development and human security in Kigoma region. The program involves 16 different UN agencies and is being implemented in cooperation with the regional and district authorities based on the development needs of the region and the capacities of the UN in Tanzania. Kigoma is one of two regions in Tanzania which has experienced a relative increase in poverty levels between the two household surveys of 2001 and 2012. The KJP applies a comprehensive approach to address a wide range of issues facing both refugees and migrants in the region as well as the surrounding host communities. Expanding and increasing the support to host communities also contributes to enhancement of coexistence between the refugee migrant population and the host population. <laughs> Through supporting stability and prosperity in Kigoma, the program contributes to the stability of the Great Lakes region. The communities in Kigoma region have been hosting and supporting refugees for many decades now. This has had a toll. There have been challenges. There have been also needs for certain resources to really support the refugees. So the least we can do is really help support that region. The 16 participating UN agencies are cooperating across seven themes, which are sustainable energy and environment, youth and women's economic empowerment, ending violence against women and children, education with a focus on adolescent girls and young women, wash or water sanitation and hygiene, agriculture with a focus on developing local markets and an integrated program on health, HIV and nutrition. The program was officially launched in September 2017 in partnership with local government authorities, development partners, refugees, the host community and civil society. Wilaya zote za mkoa Kigoma zimeweza kufikiwa na mradi japokuwa maeneo ya kipaumbele yaendelea kubaki kuwa katika wilaya ya Kasulu, Kibondo na Kakongo. The overall objective of the YWEE component is to increase income levels of women and youth in the region. The theme also builds on previous interventions with women's business associations and community youth centers that bring together the youth from both the host and refugee populations. Guli hizo ambazo tulikuwa tunafanyia uh, vyombo vile vya kwanza kwanza ambavyo havikuwa ni, vya, ni vyombo ambavyo uh, vinatumia umeme vilikuwa havifanyi kazi nzuri kabisa ilio sahihi. Kwa hiyo tunashukuru sana mradi huo kutupatia vyombo hivyo. Tulianza wanachama shina moja ila saizi tupa wanachama kumina sita na tulianza mwaka F12 na kumina sita mwezi wa kumi Marengo yetu ikiwa ni kuondoa fikra tegemezi kwa kina mama. Baada ya Kigoma Joint Program kututambua, walituwezesha majengo na mashine za kusaga na kukoboa. Kwa kweli tulivyo wanza, tulianza hatufana ni hivi. Yela sasa hivi tunangaa angalau. Hapa tulipo, wanaitua Multipurpose Community Center kwa kifupi tunaita MPCC na majengo haya yalijengwa kwa dhumuni la kusaidia wakimbizi pamoja na jamii zinazozunguka wakimbizi. Nimetokea Makere, nimekuja hapa chuoni DRC kujifunza fani ya urembo. Mimi ni Mkongo. Mimi ni mwanafunzi hapa wa uchonaji. Mimi ni Murundi. Ambaye niko hapa MPCC paka sasa hivi tunapozungumza ni 2022 tumetoa takriban wanafunzi 8000 mara ya kwanza ulikuwa ukilima unaanza mtu anaweza akatoka huko akaja nyumbani labda au eneo mnalolima una mboga sio kiasi gani au una matango kiasi gani tunauza kwa bei ya kawaida tunajua mara nyingi mkulima huwa anakuwa ni mtu wa kudidirizwa lakini kupitia afisa masoko ambaye tunaye anatusaidia sana. Kwa kweli nashukuru umoja wa mataifa kwa kuweza kujengea ili soko tulikuwa na kampaji kadogo. Kwa tunachukua kwa ndoo, sasa hivi tunao uwezo hata kuchukua gunia mbili tatu. 
anayekuja kununua bidhaa katika soko la mkarara hakuna kodi yoyote zaidi mimi nilipendezewa na hiki kitu na ndio maana wanalijenga magodown ninaingiza bidhaa ninanua kutoka Dar es Salaam na nina export kwa inge, na ingizia serikali dola pesa za kigeni nyingi fursa ambayo imepatikana kwa wateja wetu wa Burundi tumewapunguzia umbali kwa kutoka Burundi kuingia nchini kwenda kutafuta bidhaa na sasa hivi wanapata urahisi wa kuingia na kuzipata karibu wafanyabiashara wakubwa wamepata nafasi ya kuweza kuweka bidhaa zao hazikosekani pale The programming interventions are grounded in Tanzania's five-year National Plan of Action to End Violence Against Women and Children, or NPA VAWC, 2017 to 2021, and directly contributes to the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. The theme also increases accountability in legal systems meant to respond and provide services to cases of violence against women and children. <laughs> Kwanza pia imesaidia kufanya kazi kwa pamoja na dawati kwa karibu sana kwa sababu kuna mafunzo, kuna miundo binu hii ambayo ni kama tunavyoona kwa unakuta imeraisisha. Lakini msingi mkubwa ni ile e, kazi ambayo Kigoma Joint Program imefanya. Tumeweza kupata ofisi na lengo la kuwa na hizi ofisi ni kujenga usili baina ya afisa wa polisi na muhanga aloti ndio ukatili. Niliolewa tarehe 26 mwezi wa 6 2008. Baada ya hapo tumetafuta a uh, uwanja wa kwanza tukajenga tukahama pale kijijini. Baada ya hapo akakata mawasiliano. Alipokata mawasiliano, wiki ya kwanza wiki ya pili kasikia ameoa. Ni nikaja ustawi wa jamii bohigo sasa wa jamii bwigwe tena wakamuita akuitika mara mbili baada ya hapo wakanipa ushauri tena ndio nikaja hapo sasa wa jamii kasturu baada ya kuwaelezea alionikuta wakawa wamenionea huruma wakawa wamenileta hapa nyumba salama wakanetea cherehani nikawa nimefurahi sana maana yake maisha yalibadilika mpaka sasa nina ofisi yangu ninahudumia watoto na pale nyumbani naishi na mzee Kikongwe ambaye ni mama anayenizaa. Mimi ni mzaliwa wa kijiji cha Muhunga. Mimi nanufaika kupitia kupitia kitengo cha ustawi wa jamii ambao wananilea. Amefariki mama yangu wakati huo nilikuwa simfahamu baba yangu ambaye alinizaa. Lakini pia nilitelekezwa na ndugu zangu wa karibu tendo hicho kilipelekea kuchukuliana na babu mmoja ambaye alinichungisha ng'ombe na niambia niwe na chunga ng'ombe kwa wiki moja wiki mbili niwe na soma hali hiyo kitongoji alisema natakiwa uende kwenye ofisi ya ustawi wa jamii wangai namna ya kusaidia wakaniwea kwa fit person nimesema kuanzia 2018 nikaanza darasa la 5 hadi 2022 ni mwanafunzi wa form 2 Mondo wa kituo cha One Stop Center ime iko na jumla ya idara tatu polisi ustawi wa jamii na namba tatu ni daktari nashukuru sana kujenga iki kituo cha hapa Tumaini na ninawashukuru wote hata waganga walioko huko katika ustawi wa jamii kuanzia angazi ya hapa Kasuru mpaka huko ninakoenda kutibiwa nashukuru ni sana hatua niliyoifikia ni kwenda kutafuta na huli yangu na kwenda kutibiwa bure kwa msaada wa serikali. The education component aims to provide support to local government authorities to increase their capacity to develop quality formal and non-formal basic education as well as vocational training to adolescent youths. It also seeks to ensure that adolescent girls have access to both information and support related to sexual reproductive health from a wide range of actors both within the government and civil society. 
Through these interventions, this component contributes to achieving sustainable development goals, quality education, gender equality, good health, and well-being. Iposa ni mpango wa elimu changamani kwa vijana ambao unalenga kuwasaidia vijana kupata studies za kusoma, kuandika na kuhesabu, kupata studies za maisha, kupata studies za ujasiriamali pamoja na studies za fundi study wa awards. Na program inalenga zaidi wale vijana wale uko nje ya mfumo rasmi wa shule. Kwa lengo la kununua mashine kama hizo e, ni kwa sababu ya kuboresha e, uimara kutokana na eneo letu la misitu tulionalo ambalo tuna so, ni hardwood ambazo tunazizalisha katika mkoa wa Kigoma. Kwa hiyo kupitia hiyo fursa sisi kama vijana e, tuliona ni bora kuunda kikundi chetu ambacho e, kitakuwa na malengo hayo ya kuzalisha mbao na kutengeneza furniture zenye ubora wa kimataifa na kuweza kufanya biashara ndani na nje ya nchi. Nilikuwa siwezi kufanya biashara lakini kwa sasa naweza kufanya biashara. Yaani hata ukikuwa ukinipa mtaji wa shilingi ngapi nilikuwa siwezi kuendeleza. Lakini sasa hivi kwanza mtaji ambao nimeanza nao nimeanza na mtaji wa shilingi 500. Nilikuwa naenda kuna nilikuwa tafuta mwa bondeni na kuja kuuzia hapa nyumbani. Lakini baadaye pia ulinizalia nikapata mtaji wa kufuma mashuka. Endapo shuka moja kitambaa tu nanua shilingi 1015 bado kuchora na uzi nini na kufuma. Zamani kwa nauzia hapa hapa nyumbani lakini sasa hivi mtaji umekuwa na supply na peleka dawa. Tulikuwa tunapokea watoto ambao hawajui zile K3 kwa tunapata kazi ya kuwaelekeza watoto hao. Lakini kwa sasa baada ya kupata mafunzo na wamehitimu hapa wako vizuri ambapo walimu kule wa elimu ya awali hawatapata kazi kubwa ya kuweza kuwaelekeza watoto hao. Watoto hao wanapotoka hapa wana, wanaenda kujiunga na elimu ya awali katika shule jirani hapa. The water sanitation and hygiene component aims to support local government authorities to sustainably and equitably develop wash services to a larger segment of the Kigoma region. This means increasing access to improved sanitation, promoting hygiene practices, as well as access to safe drinking water among vulnerable communities, children in schools, and mothers and newborns at healthcare facilities. Kwa kweli tunashukuru huu mradi wa maji umetusaidia sisi wa mama. Unaweza ukaenda shamba kufanya kazi, ukarudi jioni ukafika unachota maji au ukamtuma mtoto akakusaidia kuchota maji maana maji yako karibu tofauti na zamani kabla ya mradi huu wa maji kutoka umoja wa mataifa kulikuwa kuna changamoto sana ya maji katika shule yetu maji tulikuwa tunategemea kutoka kwenye hicho kijiji hapo jilani sema tu yalikuwa yanakuja kwa kiwango kidogo sana maji kidogo bado machafu kwa sisi kama wanafunzi tulilazimika kwenda mtoni yani kuvunja kuharibu vipindi na kwenda mtoni kufata maji baada ya mradi huu wa maji kutoka umoja wa mataifa many things have changed yani vipindi tunahudhuria kama kawa yani maji yako karibu hata tuhangaiki sana kwenda tena mtoni magonjwa haya ya kuhara yamepungua kwa wanafunzi sasa hivi tunasoma kwa amani bila matatizo yoyote maji safi yako treated yani ni kunywa tu moja kwa moja kutoka bombani hivi chakula kichelewi tena kabla ya huu mradi kulikuwa na changamoto sana kuhusiana na maji taasisi nyingi zilikuwa hazipati huduma ya maji kwa hiyo walikuwa wanangaika wanasafiri umbali mrefu kuchota maji lakini baada ya huu mradi angalau sasa tunaona taasisi zinapata faida azitumie muda mwingi kupata maji lakini jamii inayozunguka pia wanapata maji kwa umbali mdogo ambao hauzidi mita 400 kwa kila mwananchi Increased quality and quantity of agriculture sector and its markets. 
KJP ni miongoni wa mradi ambayo imewezesha mkoa mkoa wa Kigoma kuongezwa kuwa katika mikoa ambayo ni ya kipaumbele katika kuhakikisha kwamba taifa letu lina linakuza lina eh, uzalishaji wa mazao na kujitoshereza eh, katika usalama wa chakula katika nchi yetu ya Tanzania The interventions being carried out under the theme focus on first of all increasing productivity through promoting climate smart agriculture and creating access and knowledge to high quality inputs to increase the productivity of crops secondly improving financial access by linking the farmers to financial institutions to increase their ability to invest in their agricultural activities while lowering their risk improving market linkages and infrastructure by creating access to market through aggregation centers and private sector partnerships and lastly reduction of post harvest losses in key cereal crops through interventions like introduction of improved storage technologies and value addition technologies like shellers dryers cleaners and more kwa hiyo baada ya huu mradi kuja tukapata mafunzo tukafundishwa maana ya kutofautisha mbegu bora na mbegu ambayo sio bora. Ukipanda kwa mstari unatumia mbegu chache na mavuno unapata mavuno zaidi. In January 2019, the steering committee of the UN Kigoma Joint Program endorsed Health Plus as the seventh theme of the KJP. Health Plus participating agencies are working closely with the regional authorities in the following areas. First of all, strengthening priority life-saving basic and integrated preventative and curative health nutrition and HIV services, focusing on host communities. Mimi ni mama wa watoto wanne. Nimejifungulia watoto wangu hapa. Kabla ya jengo ya jengo hili jipya nimejifungua watoto watatu kupitia jengo hilo cha kavu. Changamoto iliyokuepo kwanza jengo lilikuwa ni dogo sana. Mnaweza mkakutani hapo hata kina mama wawili watatu kakuta hata ile nafasi ya kusema ya kulala haipo. Kwa kina mama tumepata kauheni. Jengo ni kubwa. Vifaa vya kutosha, dawa zinapatikana another thing is addressing fear and stigma and ensuring the most vulnerable and at risk receive timely health care through information orientation and linkages to HIV service outlets in communities uwepo wa kigoma joint program imesaidia sana kuboresha huduma za mama na mtoto na kuongeza uelewa wa jamii kwa sababu kabla hizi project kulikuwa na kina mama wengi ambao wanazalia majumbani bila kufika kwenye kituo cha kutolea huduma lakini pia tumeweza kupata maternity wards za kutosha na kama mkoa tuna kituo cha emergency ambacho kiko hapa katika hospitali ya rufaa ya mkoa wa Maweni na kazi yake kubwa ni kupokea taarifa mbalimbali ambazo za tutasema alerts mbalimbali za viashiria vya magonjwa ya milipuko maeneo mbalimbali kutoka kwa wale maafisa ambao wameweza kuwezeshwa kwa kwa kuwa na vifaa vya kufanyia kazi kutoka kwa nanili wadau wetu wa Kigoma Joint Program na imesaidia sana katika ku, kuchukua hatua za raka ili kuzuia au kukonteni ugonjwa uweze usiweze kuenea kuathiri jamii kubwa and lastly increased utilization of health and nutrition services among families and communities by raising awareness and demanding creation for quality services through the media We are very happy that Kigoma region, which used to be the least performing or the poorest region of the country before we started Kigoma Joint Program, have since advanced and overtaken a number of other regions. And I hope that our contributions in supporting Kigo through Kigoma Joint Program have had some input and effect. I would also like to use this opportunity to thank the government of United Republic of Tanzania and especially the regional and local authorities for their 
cooperation and co-leadership in this program, which helped us link the humanitarian assistance to the refugees, to the development activities for the communities around the refugee camps and in the areas where the camps are. The results of this project have been enormously satisfying. Improving livelihoods is central to the youth and women's economic empowerment pillar, but also to the environment and deforestation component in its efforts to promote alternative sources of household energy which can bring alternative sources of income, such as solar power and biogas instead of selling charcoal or firewood. It also has strong links to the agricultural theme in that agriculture is the main source of livelihood for people in the region. Another thing is strengthening of systems to combat violence against women and children that will benefit both the host population as well as the refugee population since both will use these extended services. The youth and women's economic theme includes setting up youth vocational centers just outside the camps which will purposely target both populations. The agricultural component will strengthen the whole value chain and thereby benefiting both the farmers and the consumers, in this case also the refugees after the introduction of cash-based transfers instead of food distribution in the camps. And finally, the WASH component will include improved water, sanitation and hygiene, also in schools, which in turn will benefit the education component. I would like also to reiterate United Nations across the agency's funds and programs commitment to continue supporting Kigoma region and to continue implementing Kigoma joint program in order to help the communities in that region. Asante Nisana.